Hi guys. So it's been a hot minute. Uh, I've been dealing with uh, Daisy, as everybody can assume. I've been posting a lot of shorts of her. But I uh, figured we could do eight actual video today. Uh, I found this at Five Below, I believe. That's where I find most of my stuff. Uh, and it is a My Melody Grow and Paint Your Own Crystals. And I was like, that looks really cute. And who doesn't like making like crystally kind of stuff? So the back. And y'all know the drill, we're just gonna go ahead and get the can flipped and pull out all the contents and itch my shoulder and then we will get right in. Camera is slipped. Miss Daisy is busy with a chewy bone, so she won't be barking hopefully. Um, I already cut some tape right here because um, tape is my enemy, but let's just go ahead and see what the contents are. Oh, I should probably show the front and the back, yeah grow and paint your own crystals. So essentially you're just going to be growing crystals on this, the base, and then painting them I assume, since there's paint in there. And it's just, it's basic packaging, it's really cute though. Anything else? Okay, there we go. Cardboard bag, don't need that. Same thing in the box. Hitting the camera. The, uh, my phone is right in front of me on my little stand that I bought. But uh, grow your own crystal. My melody. They had my melody, uh, Hello Kitty, and one other. I cannot remember what it was. But they had like three different options. I was like, the my melody looks the cutest. So I was gonna do this. So we're gonna get ready to grow crystals. Uh, check container. Okay, we've got to boil water and let it dry and then paint. So this is going to be like a couple of day video. I'm going to start on it now. But here it is. There's, I assume, there's tape somewhere. There's always tape. Where are my scissors? Never mind, I got it. Alright, so here is the base. It just feels like it's made out of like plaster stuff. And the cracks and stuff, I assume, aren't really going to matter because it's going to be covered in crystals. And it is very, very heavy. Like, if you toss it at somebody, it's going to hurt. Don't do that, though. Alright, I'm going to paint. I'm going to have to save these for later. Because I assume the crystals are going to take about 24 hours to grow. But it is covered, so that's good. Uh, we've got stick. I don't know what for yet. We're going to read the instructions in just a second. A paintbrush that we're not going to use because these are notoriously bad. Right off, right off the gate. I mean, it's super fluffy. I might keep it and use it as like a glaze brush. But we're not, probably not going to be painting with it. Because <laughs> I've got so many other brushes. Because I do have an Etsy shop and I do hand paint charms. And I'm assuming this is, yep. Yeah, Alum powder. I don't know how you say that. But that's cute. Alright, let me get the plastic out of the way. And let's just go ahead and read the instructions. So, crystal growing materials. One My Melody figure. Or figurine, I'm sorry. One alum powder packet. A mixing stick. This is a mixing... Mixing stick. I've, I swear I've had coffee. I just cannot English today. A uh, watercolor paint strip and a paintbrush. Cool beans. All right, uh, I'm gonna find the container. I'm not too worried about the container. I'm just gonna use like a plastic uh, Tupperware container or something. And I'm just leaving this on screen so y'all can read it too. Uh, let's see, as well as two and a half or two and a third cups of water and the powder solution. The figurine should be completely submerged in the solution and only the base should be touching the container. So essentially you want just this part touching it and everything around it to be free so that the crystals can grow. Alright, I get some helping hands. I am an adult so I'm going to do that myself. But if you're not, please get an adult to help you because boiling water is no laughing matter. It hurts. Alright, so let the water boil for about 30 seconds. And then empty the alum powder into the hot water. Slowly stir till the alum powder dissolves completely. So I'm going to go boil some water in the container. And I'm going to pour it 
into the container and then bring it in here because I'm, I'm in my room at this point. And I will slowly dissolve the powder in with you. Ready? And then have an adult carefully pour the mixture into a medium sized heat safe container. Yes. And then to ensure your crystals grow, grow beautiful and bright, do not add any, any more water to your solution. I can English, I swear I can English. <laughs> After letting the mixture sit, carefully place your My Melody figurine inside the container in an upright position. In a couple of hours, crystals will start to form. Okay, so more than likely, I'm going to do, like, uh, shorts on this. So, the shorts will be out before the actual video comes out. But, I think it'll be cool. And then you let it dry. Yeah, you let it sit overnight for the full effect. Let it dry. Three... 30 minutes and then we're gonna paint it okay I'm going to go boil some water and then I will be right back with the boiling water and we will add the packet and the figurine and find a safe place for it to sit in here overnight right, we're back and we have some nice really hot water uh, two and a third cups it's moving around but it's two and a third cups yep see two and a third cups and I found this glass container that I'm going to be using. Uh, my Melody fits in there without touching the sides. And she's completely submerged in there. So that's what I'm using. But please make sure it is uh, safe with hot water. This should be. Oh, it's like two cups. Oh, well. And we're going to open the packet and dump it in there. So y'all can see the process. Get our mixing stick. Come on. Why don't you want to come out? You'll have a lot of fun. Okay, we need to cut it open a little bit more. There we go. I'm just gonna dump it. There we go. Dogs don't get it, and we're gonna start. Until it is dissolved. And please be careful if you're doing this or have an adult do it. Because it is boiling water and it does hurt. <laughs> <laughs> you touch it. That looks really cool though. Let's see if we can get like a close up of it. And this might take a few minutes for everything to get dissolved into the water. So, since we're stirring, y'all let me know what you've been up to, uh, and, you know, tell me how cute Daisy is, because she is just too adorable, but she is also a little ball of, like, fluff and chaos. It's ridiculous. Like, sometimes she just wants to take a nap, and I'll walk by, and she will roll over for me so I can get her tummy. Other times... I just want to chew my finger off and do zoomies. And y'all have probably seen that. Y'all haven't seen her roll over for me. So if I can get that on camera for like a short or something, this is not dissolving. It's almost dissolved. Just keep starting, guys, okay? Just keep starting. Uh, but yeah, if I can get that on camera, because she's so cute. Like, I'll go get like water or something. And she's just like hard taking a nap. Like, she's passed out. But she'll hear me try to step over her because she's usually laying by the door and then she like rolls right over and looks at me she's like okay tummy rubs real quick please and then you can continue what you're doing so I'm gonna try to get that on camera because it's super cute okay it's almost dissolved guys I've been stirring for a couple minutes at least so I found a nice quiet little place 
where it won't get disturbed. I did grab some tongs too to put her in there because I don't want to put my hand in the boiling alum soaked water. So we're going to gently place her in there and put tongs. Y'all oh, see the process. As soon as we're done stirring, I'm going to put the water into the jar. And then we're going to go to where she's going to be staying overnight so nothing disturbs her. And hopefully if I did this right, we will get a crystallized My Melody. And this is really cute and simple. Like it's just like a couple of things to do. Easy to do with kids. Or if you're an adult, you want to do this because you go to Five Below like I do. <laughs> Looking for them Squishmallows. Alright, I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to stop stirring. My arm is tired. Let's gently pour it in here. Without getting it everywhere, maybe? Okay. So, I am now... Oh, I got it everywhere. Everywhere. We're a mess. That's okay. I think I'll live. So, I'm gonna go set the jar up over the area, and then I will be right back. This little shelf where I keep, like, crystals and stuff. It's, like, right by my bed. Uh, that's the water we dissolved, and here's the My Melody. Oh, I need to add a little bit of water. Shouldn't want to sit still, sit still! Okay, I'm going to boil just a tad more water. When I measured it out, it I didn't have to water. So I'm gonna boil a little bit more, but she's essentially in here. She's not touching any of the edges. That's Bella barking. So I'm going to check on it in a couple of hours, Bella, and post like a short. Okay, she is fully submerged. Put in just a tad bit more of the boiling water, and it looks like the plaster or ceramic or whatever it is is soaking up a lot of the water so I don't know what's gonna happen but we're just we're gonna see this is five dollars I'm gonna leave the paints and stuff over here too so I know where everything is and the what what anyway it's just a tiny update guys it, it is fully submerged so don't don't come at me in the comments right, right and it is pretty much dry at this point um, here is a close-up and I didn't want to put my background down because it's fabric and I didn't want to get like paint and other stuff on it. Uh, the bottom part got pretty well covered in crystals, but the top part, not as much, but that's okay. We're still going to paint it and it's still going to be adorable. So it just won't look quite like uh, on the box. That's okay. So I've got some water here and the paintbrush. Water paintbrush that they included and then I did grab a couple of my paintbrushes to use as well but we're gonna try out this one since it came with the kit see how it does um, I've got my melody right here so I know where to put what color pick it up we're gonna do it gently and it is heavy so um, right here that looks like her little capelet so we're gonna do that and leave the rest of the body like this cuz right there her like face and body are white so I assume this is like a watercolor. And we're gonna try this color. See how this one does. Yeah, this is pretty much watercolor. As you can see. A little bit more. There we go. Kind of get it going. Let's see what this color turns into. Not even in the center of the camera. Not even paying attention. Alright, there we go. I think we got it good and going now. And I don't know if it's picking up on camera. It looks like it is. But it's like a light pink color. It's really pretty. Not a huge fan of pink, but I do like this one. I'm just kind of gently placing it on the crystals. I don't know how they react to watercolor. I've never done this before, like put watercolor on crystals.
I think it goes all the way around. Like right here. Yeah. Add a little bit more water. And keep going around. I don't know what it's going to look like once the water color is dry. But I assume it's going to look pretty neat. And this might be a little bit of a longer video, just because I'm doing all the painting with y'all. I figured it'd be good. Y'all can see how it actually goes. Because again, this was only $5. I didn't expect too much from it, but I think so far it hasn't let me down. <laughs> um, try to get a little bit in right here where her capelet is. There's just like a little bit right there, like right here. Kind of connect the two. All right, I think that's looking pretty cute, and it looks like it kind of mattifies the crystals once it starts drying. That's pretty cool. Okay, so rinse that off. Got my rag to the side. Y'all can't see it. Um, let's do let's do her nose or since her nose is like right there. Let's do her nose and her eyes real quick the yellow going. Alright, that's looking pretty good. So we'll do her little nose. And this, actually, this paintbrush isn't that bad. I might actually keep it and use it with, like, my regular stuff. Not even on focus again. <laughs> Not very good at this. Alright, we'll do her eyes. Yeah, see if I can do this on camera. Okay, so this is not like a black black. This is more gray. But that's okay. We'll have to live with it. Because I'm only going to use what they provided in the kit. There we go. So maybe if we do like a couple of layers... Let that dry and we'll come back and do like another layer of the, the black. And I want to try out this darker pink color too. So I think we're going to start with your ears and see if we like this pink. If we don't, we'll just switch back to the lighter pink. Okay, get this one going. There we go. There's a little bit more. A little bit more water. There we go. Now we got it going. Alright. Let's start. I'm holding one ear, so we're going to start with the other ear. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty. It's not quite my melody color, but that's okay. It's going to look cool. What if we mix some of the pink? Let's add a little bit of the lighter pink and blend it in a little bit and make her cool. I'm totally blocking the light. I'm, let's see if I can. No. Nope. That's my overhead light. I can't really move it. Unfortunately. I'm going to need more water. Actually, what if we put it down? <laughs> For a second. Alright, there we go. See if we can get back here and splotch a little pink and maybe a little dark pink. And we need more water again. And then add a little bit of light pink. And just kind of mix it up a little bit. So I don't think it's going to stick to the uh, plaster or whatever the base is very well. 
or it's not gonna, I guess make it bright, kind of like the crystals, that's okay. I don't wanna get the bow, the bow's gonna be yellow. Oh, y'all can't even see which colors I'm dipping into. I'm sorry. Try to stay. There we go. Maybe a little bit more. I am not good at this, y'all. I don't know why anybody watches me. Oh, good. It's not stuck on there. Let's get that hair off then. Come on. You? Maybe? Please? Thank you. A little more light pink. We're just we're throwing it on at this point because we've got a whole head to paint. A little bit of light pink right here. A little bit of dark pink. More water. And the watercolor is actually pretty easy to work with. I'm actually pretty impressed. I mean, for like a $5 kit. I wouldn't use it in any like art projects that I personally do, but for this, since it's included with the kit, I think it's pretty good. And I would totally recommend this. Put a little bit more right there. There we go. Oh, yeah, I'm not, yeah. <laughs> Good at this. Okay, let's do the bow and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut to where she's completely painted. So y'all don't have to sit through like a whole lot of this because I'm not good at this, guys. All right. Doing the bow. A little bit more water. That's looking pretty. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the bow. So I'm going to go ahead and cut and just, I'm gonna paint the rest of it. And then I will be back to show you pretty much the finished project. Um, I'll let you know what I think about it. All right, and I am done. Try to do a close up for y'all. Some of the crystals do still come off, even if you pick it up gently, but uh, it kind of mattifies the crystals once you put the paint on and it starts to dry. So some part will be shiny and some part won't. Turn it around that way for y'all. I think it looks really cool. Personally what I'm going to do is I'm going to glaze it with some of my glaze I use for my charms. So I'm going to do that, trying to shine it up a bit and maybe hopefully get the crystals to stay on a little bit better so I can actually keep this for a while. But for $5 at five below, I think this is like a pretty neat little kit to do. Um, if y'all do it, please let me know. Hopefully y'all can get it to crystallize a lot more than I did. I don't know what I did wrong. I might not have measured the water right, but still, I think it looks pretty cool. I like, like the little sparse crystals way around the head. I think it looks really neat. But that's that's pretty much it for this. Um, I will post a picture on my Instagram or something after I glaze it to show y'all what it looks like. So y'all go over my Instagram if y'all want to see the finished product when it's all glazed and shiny. Um, if you do the eyes, do like I did three coats and it still kind of looks like that. But I still like it. I think it looks pretty neat. So I hope y'all enjoyed it and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye guys.